What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss them. This video today, I'm going to talk about how much it costs to become a doctor in terms of exams. Along your medical career, starting off early as pre-med all the way until you are a medical doctor kind of done with your residency training, you're going to be paying for exams and it can be quite expensive. This does not include the interviews that you go on uh, for pre-medical interviews, for medical school interviews, and for residency interviews. And to give you some, some perspective about how much it costs for interviews for, for residency and as well as fellowship, uh, it can be anywhere between three to five thousand dollars for flights, for hotels, for lodging, for food, for taxis, for Ubers, for application fees, and it can get quite expensive. So I've been on a lot of interviews along my medical path from medical school interviews, residency interviews, and fellowship interviews last year. So, um, and that's kind of average about what I paid for each of those interviews. It also depends on how many interviews you go on. But in terms of specific exams that you have to take along your way, I'm going to break down some of the costs and what you can expect to pay. So here we go. So everyone knows about the MCAT. Most people take it between the third and fourth year of college or I didn't know about the MCAT. I was so lost until after college, after I had already graduated and I didn't take it until like two years after I graduated college. But according to the MCAT website, the cost for the MCAT is around $315. So that's to start off about $300 that you're gonna be paying for the uh, MCAT. That does not include the preparation fees that you, you if you want to take a prep course, and some of them can be three, four thousand dollars. And I took Kaplan and Princeton. I took both. Uh, the next exam that you're going to take, the big exam, and probably the most important exam of your medical career. And the reason why I say that is because this exam determines whether or what type of doctor you will be. So if you wanted to go into a competitive specialty like plastic surgery or dermatology, or orthopedic surgery, or neurosurgery, you have to do really well on this exam. And you take this exam after your second year of medical school. It's an eight hour exam and it covers your first two years of medical school. So it's called USMLE Step 1, or we call it Step 1, and you have to take it, like I said, after your second year of medical school. The cost for this exam and what I paid is about $630. So you study all of these, these months and then you prepare for it your first two years of med school and you sign up for it and you're like $600 down the drain. That's crazy. For an exam, $600 for an exam. But wait, it gets better. So the next exam that you're going to be taking is step two. And there's two parts of step two. There's a clinical knowledge and there's a clinical skills. The clinical knowledge is another eight hour exam that you take after your third year of medical school and it covers the more clinical parts of uh, becoming a doctor. So you sign up for this, this test and uh, you go take it and then you get a score and hopefully you can improve from your step one score. And some people say that if you score lower on your step one score and score a little bit higher on your step two, that may, may help. I don't know, but I would think the most important thing is your step one. So just make sure you score well on that. So the clinical knowledge portion of step two, the eight hour exam is another $630. But there is a clinical skills portion of this and they only offer it in certain locations around the US. They offer it in Houston, they also offer it in Philly, and I think one or two other places, but you have to fly to these places. So that's a flight there. Find a hotel, you know, the lodging, the Uber, a taxi, or whatever to get to the location and then go take this clinical uh, skills test, which is basically paid actors that portray certain diagnoses. You have to come up with a diagnosis, a plan, read their x-ray, they give you have an x-ray for you or EKG, and you have to know kind of what to do with that information. But the crazy part of this is that exam is $1,300. $1,300 right there for your step two CS. And you're not even a doctor yet. so. After you 
finish your step two, your, your both parts, your clinical knowledge and your clinical skills. You had taken step one about a year ago and then you graduate medical school and you're an intern now. Most people decide to take their last part of their steps during their intern year and most programs are, uh, force you to do that in order to go on to your second year. So during your intern year, you take step three. And I have a funny story about step three because I thought it was a four hour exam. For some reason, I thought it was four hours. So going into step three, um, I had studied for a little bit, not much. You know, I did a couple questions. You were, yeah, I, was in, I was an intern and I went into the exam. I was like, I'm not gonna even eat breakfast this morning because I'm gonna go in here, knock this little four hour exam out of the way and you know, I'm gonna go home and get some breakfast. So I walked into the exam, you know, got signed up, went to my seat, had the proctor come over and help me log on. I got onto the test and it said seven hours and 59 minutes left. And I just freaked out. I was like, holy crap. For some reason, I thought this exam was four hours. I don't know why, but I just thought. So I ended up um, taking that exam hungry the whole time. And um, the exam cost $875. So here you go, you pay $315 for the MCAT, $630 for step one, this, the clinical knowledge portion, another $630. Step two, CS, $1,300. Step three, $875. Like crazy, how much they charge you for these, these exams. And it's not even over yet. So, you know, you finish your intern year, you take step three, you know, you get your, your, you know, all your certifications or your test scores back. And then it's time to get your MD license. So in Texas, to get your MD license, you have to take what's called a jurisprudence exam or JP exam. And this, this exam is about like te Texas, you know, laws, customs laws, you know, all this BS crap. And only certain states make you do this, but Texas is one of them. And that exam is like a two hour exam that you have to, I had to study for. And it was like 60 bucks for the freaking exam. And then to get your MD license, they just make, they just milk all this money out of you. To get your MD license, you first you have to pay $70 for application fee. And then another application fee of $835. And then to, kind of activate your medical license, $480 to get your MD license. So whatever state that you're in, I have a Texas medical license. If you live in California, you want to get a California license, but this whole application process to get your MD license and take that freaking exam was like $1,500. So adding up all these exams, the cost of them, it came out to $5,193, which is crazy. So be expected to pay along your medical path for the major exams. You're gonna have a lot of smaller, lot smaller exams along the way, but uh, the big exams that are important to become an MD, about $5,000. This is Dr. Webb. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. We'll see you next time.